trying to avoid them, thinking, if I don't play with the kids, maybe they won't be too interested in me, and then I'll, I'll have a little bit more energy. That didn't work. They were climbing over me and asking to be on my shoulders all the time, and holding my hand and running me down the street and asking me to jump with them in my arms, and it was, brought me so much joy. And today, they went down to the beach, and they started bringing me up shells and sea glass and just shoving it in my pockets. <laughs> and so by dinner time, I had a pocket full of glass, sharp glass, by the way, and probably the coolest shell I've ever seen. It's a sea urchin shell. I have it up here at my table. Um, but yeah, so it's brought me so much joy to be able to meet your family. And I thank you for the privilege that that's brought me. And without further ado, I will introduce the father of the bride, Jean Sierge. Good evening. <laughs> My name is Jean Serge Gagnon, but you can call me JS. Um, I I actually didn't prepare a speech other than have some notes. And I, I'm listening to what these fine people are saying and I'm thinking, oh my god, they're all talking about all sorts of background stories and how they met. Of course, I can't you know, I've known her <laughs> since 27 years, right? So, but what I thought I would do is talk about pride. One of the things that I realized a couple years back is that myself as a uh, the way I grew up, I guess, I never really believed in telling my daughters that I was proud of them. Just, and I don't, I never really knew why, just recently, uh, about a year ago, somebody that I worked with said something about his father, and it made me realize that I think maybe that's what it was for me. He said that whenever his father told him that he was proud, he thought, well, don't you think I could have done it? Why are you proud of me? I, are you saying that you thought I wasn't going to be good enough to do it? And that's why I never felt the, the, the ability to say that, right? I, so my daughter, I am very proud of you for so many things. And I kind of gave, made myself a little list here to just kind of go back in time and let you know how proud I am of you how proud I was of you, and uh, it all starts with being proud that you learned how to take your pants off when you were a baby. <laughs> <laughs> even though, even though it turned into something that wasn't to be proud of, other than maybe becoming an artist. <laughs> then afterwards, I want to say I'm proud of you for wanting to cross the street on your own, being a big girl and being able to cross the street, even though it practically gave me a heart attack because some cars were coming and we got upset at you afterwards, we're still proud that you were willing to go out there on your own. Uh, then, of course, we're proud, uh, what's my next thing? I got, I got, Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm getting old. I can't even read this anymore. I don't have enough life. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a cross the street. Okay. Well, of course, proud of you for doing everything in getting good grades in school, being a really good learner, doing all those things that, as parents, we, you know, we, we, we see it, but we don't say it enough. We don't say enough. I know I didn't say it enough. Proud of you getting your first jobs. I remember your first jobs as uh, when you first started working. Um, I guess you started working in a lingerie store. You started in work in a health food store. I thought it was great when you started working in a lingerie store. That was awesome. <laughs> of course, I'm proud of you for learning to drive. I remember. I know. I was a father, and I was like not giving you the you know, pride that I really have, getting, maybe reacting to 
hitting a bump and things like that, but you're so good today. You were able to drive all the way from from Halifax to Fredericton and Charlottetown and just no no problems there, right? Um, then, of course, I'm proud of you for having done, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Carissa did her own prom dress. That was a really, really big deal for me because it's something that I felt was really, it's not easy. And I thought it was awesome that she went through that whole process and got it done and she had a really, really lovely prom dress. And, uh, and, that whole moving away. <laughs> and I'm proud that you went all the way to Halifax, you know, being on your own, it's not easy to go to a new city and leave your family, right? And of course, oops, and of course I'm proud that you found an awesome man. Uh, I don't know Dan that much myself, I just met him today, but, <laughs> well, well, yesterday, in person. It's the first time I met him, but we had a, a couple conversations on the phone, and I, and I really think that Dan is an awesome man. I know that from the way that he called me to ask for his, for my daughter's hand, that's something that I thought just that, just the fact that he called to me was a really big deal. <laughs> I don't know if you're laughing at what I'm saying there because maybe it doesn't seem that difficult to make a phone call, but uh, I don't know, it might be harder for some, right? Uh, but that's, yeah, I'm proud of you, and I think this is a great start to the rest of your life, and uh, I love you, and congratulations. Yeah.